this year I'm 18 and I have to get a job. Which is kind of scary. Try not to move your upper thigh so much. Say, this isn't going to go up and down. To make it as a professional dancer, you have to have a lot of things in place. The teachers are watching you and they give you corrections, but you have to correct yourself. If it's not there, you can tell. All of our advanced students possess an incredible musicality, an energy, and an excitement in their dancing. And that's really what one needs to be a professional dancer. Generally, when a female dancer turns about 17 or 18, you want to start looking for jobs. We start auditions at the end of January, and I think that goes all the way to March, which is kind of scary. And six, and now plie, A, and present, and to really wrap around. It's hard. It's hard going in there and deciding who will become a dancer in the company because the variables are many. That front leg has to go much slower. Run and turn this way. We're taught to be artistic and perform in class just as you would on stage. I'm going to use that in auditions and try and show off what we're trained for every single day. Do you know that ginger tea is good for inflammation? Ginger tea is good for inflammation, yeah. Body care. <laughs> My friend Silas is literally like a brother to me and we're from the same ballet studio at home. <laughs> He just got out of the School of American Ballet last year and just got into the core of the New York City Ballet. How is it? I love it. I love being in the environment of a ballet company. That was always the dream, you know, first year in the core now. Well, you're beautiful on stage, I have to say. Silas has been my inspiration since day one. He comes and watches classes and makes sure that I'm doing well. You've worked so hard for that opportunity to put yourself out there, to show an artistic director what you have to offer, and to show what you've been working on all yeah, these years. And I tell myself I can't be scared because how is an audition any different from what I do every single other day? Yeah, it's taking a ballet class. I know. Just there's the added dimension that you might get a job at the end or, or not. <laughs> and one, one. Upper body, bend your head and neck. Change your eye focus. Let's do that. Let your eyes follow where your nose is looking. That's right, and arms a little in front. Not head there and the eyeballs there. Good, okay, next group. I don't think any of my friends when I was younger would think that I would ever come out to be some, like, ballerina. As a child, I was a tomboy. I liked basketball. I wanted to play tennis and soccer and everything. I didn't think about ballet at all. But when I was immersed in this whole lifestyle, I've definitely realized that this is what I want to do with my life. And I wouldn't trade the normal teenage life for this ever. Uh. I find myself in class working on being a well-rounded dancer because that's what can really get you far. Low and up tall. On your own leg now and arrive. Stay there. A one and a two plie. Slower down. Even slower. To make it as a professional dancer on the level of the New York City Ballet, it's pretty competitive. I mean competitive in the sense that you have to be qualified. So you have to have a beautiful physique, you have to be well-proportioned, you have to be musical, you have to have nice feet, you have to have a lot of things in place, and you have to be mentally strong. You push off and it straightens. That's it. The teachers are watching you and they give you corrections to better yourself. If it's not there and they see that it's not there, they'll tell you. <laughs> now look at your first position. Do you like that? No. Get in there each time. It's like this. I'm not in there to scrutinize them or to make life harder for them. I'm trying to crystallize the point I want to make in a particular combination. Three, four. Ballet is very, like, picture perfect. And when someone does it wrong, you can tell. Go, reach. Not only does the teacher need to correct you in class, but you have to correct yourself and know that there's a mirror in front of you and it's there for you to see yourself and see what you look like and work on yourself. We've been working up for so long just to get a job. I just really hope I go somewhere good or everything works out here, I don't know.
I literally had like packets of tests lined up in my bag. I've been here for four years, and this is my last year at the school. It's weird. Isn't it so weird that we've been here for that long? Four years. Living in the dorms, no, yeah, though, like living together. And then we have the cafeteria. I'm excited to leave that. <laughs> it wouldn't be bad if we didn't have to eat it every single day for the past every four years. <laughs> we've been growing up and we've been experiencing our teenage years. <laughs> and next year, I'm going to be in a completely different place from all my friends. Like, not all of us are going to stay together. Houston? Hey. Hello. Guess One of my best friends, Houston, left for a different company this year. So he doesn't live in the city anymore. He's currently living in Dresden, Germany. How's life in Germany? Tell me about it. It's fine. I'm pretty adjusted to it now. He's all the way in Europe. I can only Skype with him and text him. You experience growing up with these people. And in a few years, not all of us are going to be together anymore. <laughs> don't even. I don't know what I'm going to do without you guys. When we all split up. Let's talk about that. <laughs> that was rough. As a dancer, from ages 12 to however old you are, you grow up in front of a mirror and you have to pick apart yourself. Make sure that you are placed where you need to be, that your head is placed right. Being in front of that mirror for hours every single day can be a little annoying at times. But I don't know what I would do without that mirror. We do what we have to do for what we love. Some years, Peter will take 10 people into the company. Some years, he'll take five. And some years, we'll have none of them. We're spending four hours in the studio with 100 dancers, all fighting for the same job. We've been working up for so long just to get a job that I just really hope this goes well. 